And here we are back again, and we're going to be talking with Wanda Birch, and she's a historian and an author. And along with her, she's brought John Canosian, and he's a uh, singer and songwriter. So let's find out exactly what they're going to be doing about Christmas. What's going on? We're doing a program in Amsterdam at the Century Club on December 16th at 3 o'clock p.m. And it's funded by a Saratoga Arts Grant. We, uh, John and I received an individual artist grant nice. to present nice. um, Hi, his words and music to songs that he has written based on stories in a book that, that I had published this past year. And we have a copy of your book here. Um, I guess my, one of my questions is that how did you find these letters? It began serendipitously in Savannah, Georgia at a, a conference that had nothing to do with this and I wandered into a bookstore and I love journals and I picked up a journal of Civil War letters from Georgia and I opened the journal and the first words I saw were from a soldier in Georgia on a Georgia regiment named Henry Graves and he wrote that the soldier on the battlefield had two angels of mercy. One was the imagination and one was the night green. Dream. Oh my. And he proceeded to tell an incredible dream that was so real to him that he felt like he was right there. And I flipped the pages, a few more pages over. I bet you bought the book. I certainly did. It was $75. It <laughs> uh, was but, worth it But though. it was worth it. And it set me out on a quest because the next few letters I saw were also dreams and each soldier spoke on the reality of those dreams, feeling like they were at home. One person, William Stillwell, said that he felt that he was inside the dream, moving across a piazza. He could taste the peaches at home. He could see his beloved, and he was a little bit accusatory when he woke up and she was gone. Oh. And I began looking through our Yeah, these were the Confederacies. The, yeah, so what about the, the Union? Did you? That was one of my first questions because I was finding remarkably evocative dreams from Confederate soldiers and I thought all right is this the Romantic South speaking or is, is a northern Yankee soldier dreaming the same way and they are. I began to comb through archives and published Wonderful. journals and, and journals that were unpublished and dream after dream after dream. So your book, uh, does it contain some of those letters? or it, Yes, it's 400 pages of letters. Letters, okay. And all of them have some reference to dreams or the imagination. And at one point I placed in a search engine on documenting the American South, which is um, has a, the contents of the archives of about 11 universities. I typed in the word wow. dream and I had over one million hits. Oh my God. And I thought, okay, this is going to be the generic use of the word dream. And it wasn't. It was, I would say, six, six out of every 10 letters on each of 20 pages that I used as a test sample were actual dreams on the battlefield. That they talked about, yeah. Uh, you brought John with you. I uh, did. John Kenosian, uh, and one of the, uh, Addie Chase is one of the characters. Addie or, Case, yeah, right. Case. Yes. Did I say Chase? It should be Case. Um, is one of the uh, uh, real persons in, in, yes. in that it's uh, chronicled. You wrote a song. Tell us about that. Wanda and I met uh, in the studio uh, actually quite a while back where I was producing, arranging, uh, uh, help co-produce an, an album that I do with the 77 Balladeers. And she came up and we started talking and she said, uh, here's some different uh, stories and letters. Can you write some music to it? And Addie Case, uh, she gave me a few bits of information and Addie Case came out. Okay, yeah. would you like to sing it right sure, now? Sure, sure let's so do you that. you tell them about, a little bit about um, it? Yeah. Addie was particularly an evocative story because Addie Case and Charlie Tenney were both from Mecca, Ohio. And he had no one in his family to write home to. He knew her. But he asked her, just as he was leaving, would you write to me as a sister as w would to a brother? And she said, certainly. Very quickly, they fell in love. And it ceased to be letters. He was a smart man. He was a smart man. <laughs> and they fell in love, but she began dreaming incredible dreams of his death, dreams of presentiment. And she would say, I'm dreaming of your death. Oh, and he, and wow. he would Ouch. say, but I come home safe from every battle. And she said, it's not in a battle. It's on a bed of straw in a hospital. And what was even more remarkable, he kept saying, I'm fine. And then he began to get sick after the battle at Harper's Ferry. 
He was in a makeshift hospital in Bala Heights. Coming out of bed, Estrella. Oh my God. And um, but even more interesting, her final dream, in which she rises out of her dream, out of her body, and she sees herself fighting her way through dead and dying soldiers in the hospital, trying to reach Charlie before it's too late. And he rises from his bed as she finds him and says, have you come? His death and that dream crossed the same night. She mailed her letter the same night that he died. That's incredible. So you're gonna, you wrote the song? Yes. Okay, Jack. Whoa, Addie Case. I'm moving on down the line Whoa, Addie Case Won't you write me one more time Whoa, Addie Case I'll be seeing you in my dreams Addie Case We met her at a party in 1861 No one for him to write to As he's going off to war. I'll write you, die, dear Charlie, as a sister, mind you now. Never as a lover, no way, no how. Oh, oh, oh Addy Case, I'm moving on down the line. Oh, oh Addy Case, won't you write me one more time? Oh, Addy Case. I'll be seeing you in my dreams, Addie Case. He wrote to him for two years, and lovers they did become. In mind and dreams and spirit, like no other one. And she dreams of him at night, and he dreamed of her as well. And the fires burned so quickly. Through the dreams of war and hell Oh, oh, oh Addie Case I'm moving on down the line Oh, oh Addie Case Won't you write me one more time Oh, oh Addie Case I'll be seeing you in my dreams Addie Case The sun rose soft on a frozen land in 1863 Harper's Ferry the 17th Addie shook as she scribed her dream Oh, I dreamed your death Addie said, oh, nonsense Charlie replied I dreamed you were my angel In the shadows by your side Oh, oh Addie Jesus I'm moving on down the line Won't you write me one more time, Addie Case? I'll be seeing you in my dreams, Addie Case. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. So Thank this you. is, are you going to be performing this on uh, at the event yeah, coming yeah, up? Yeah, we do yes. this through the whole uh, show. And tell people what they might expect at that event. We've been um, performing regular letters through most of these. Um, uh, we, we had six concerts that we were required through the Saratoga Arts Grant. So for the sixth one, we are moving away from the regular soldier's letters to those that speak very specifically of dreams during the Christmas holidays. Oh, perfect, and, perfect. And this was, um, this also still applied to Addie Case mm -hmm. because yeah. it was in late November and then early December when she began dreaming the final dream of his death. So we've left that particular song in. It's and, an amazing, and it's amazing. That is an amazing story. Yes, yeah. it yeah. is. Yeah, it, it is. really is. I mean, you know, you never know how close people's vibrations go. And oh, no, this was absolutely. over the, you know. And it happens again and again in these letters, but this one was particularly evocative because they were so in tune with each other. Plus, you have the letters from both of them. You have yeah. all of her letters, you have all of his letters, and they just, they just synchronize. It's so great that those were kept. Yes. Because, you know, many times those things are lost. They yes, get definitely. tossed and stuff like that. Uh, you, you're going to be coming on the show again, I hope, and, yes, and yes, talking yes. about your, your songwriting. Uh, would you like to sing another song? Or? Sure, we'll do okay. another one from okay. the Okay, and what the song show. is this? Uh, this is called Angel's Lullaby. I, I actually 
wrote this out of a dream I had, two o'clock in the morning. And uh, after some of the readings and writings that Wanda did, I switched a few of the verses over. So okay. uh, we'll do Angel's Lullaby. Angel's Lullaby. Yeah, okay, I'm going to send this out to a friend of mine, Kathy and Todd Monty, who okay. she, uh, her parents just died recently. Okay. And, and uh, we're going to send this out to them. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. been many years I've written in the silence of goodbyes and many times I've heard your voice in the angels lullaby I've seen your face before I know and I've heard you in my cries and I wonder if you're writing now the angels And the many paths I've tried Oh, they bring me back to you again And they leave me with a smile Through gracious words and spoken In the memories of our minds I wonder if we've done our best Can you hear the lullaby? So hate me now and take me down For the visions that I see a melody that the angels sing to me So pardon me for the things I've said If they may seem so unkind And I'll sing a song called the angels of Times I sat up through the wee hours of the night And I wondered if I tried enough Was I wrong or was I right? So remember now, you're not alone Through your anguish and your pride You can go to sleep tonight, my dear Hear the angels lullaby Don't hate me now, take me down For the visions that I see I sing a melody that the angels sing to me. So pardon me for the things I've said. It may seem so unkind, and I will sing a song for you called the angels' lullaby. And I will sing a song for you called the angels' lullaby. Wonderful voice. Uh, where can I get your book? Um, the usual places you can order it through Am uh, Amsterdam, through Amazon. Right. Um, McFarlane is the publisher. You can go on the McFarlane okay. site. In fact, they're having a 30% discount sale through the okay. end of December. And how and about going to your website? Is it listed there on your website? It's, there's uh, information on it um, on my website, and also you can go to a regular bookstore and order it okay. and ask them to. Yeah, this is uh, sound like a wonderful book to read Thank because you. it brings you back so far into one of our the, the most most people were killed. I mean, and murdered in that war than yes. any other war. I and believe. and it brings you to um, uh, at the kinds of letters and the kinds of feelings and emotions that do not change in a war. Right. Uh, dreams and the imagination are still a, a vital part of. The, the kind of, of uh, emotions, negative and positive, that yeah. appear on the battlefields anymore. Uh, well, I thank you so much for putting this together and putting thank a you. book together and putting these programs together to bring it home in a way to people so that they, they make, um, I mean, it becomes alive to them. Yes, it does. Thank you so it much. For, I, you. This is living history, and I love it. I love every part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. Thank we'll you set very a date much. so thank you can come on again. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, again, we're going to the Yuletide Rebels. And when we come back, we're going to be finding out about those musical instruments in your closet and how you can put them to good use. Stay tuned.